Welcome, my friends. I've not posted in a while, in case you haven't noticed. Um, I've just been so busy. I've been like rushed off my feet doing various projects and, you know, bringing in the dollar and getting them my face out there, you know? So I've not really had time to do this because, uh, well, you know, I don't really earn much from this. So this is sort of like, this podcast is like a side project for me. Um, so it's not, it's, I don't really, don't really care, you know? Um, but thank you for tuning in. You guys mean so much to me. Welcome to another Adventures of a Rhino. <laughs> So last week I was filming an advert. Now, I know what you're thinking, God, the rhino, who, who's he doing an advert for? But yes, there are companies out there that want me to be the face of their product. This particular product was a sort of like a face cream company. They, um, well, you know, you know what they do. You, you, you put like moisturizer on your face, gets rid of all the dry skin, keeps it fresh, keeps it healthy. Now, what I love about this is that I bet the casting directors are all sat like in this meeting room looking at all these headshots and I'm talking, you know, probably thousands of different headshots and they thought, God, we, we need a good face to, to represent us. Who are we going to pick? Who are we going to pick? Uh, it obviously has to be a good face because he, everyone knows that it, adverts don't, you know, they're not real. They're not real. You don't put this cream on and your whole face changes. They need someone that's already got a good face so it can, you know, be portrayed. If, I, if you know where, where I'm going with this. Um, so yeah, they must have been looking at all of these photos and they just thought, uh, that one. No question, no question. What's his name? The Rhino, bring him in, bring him in. Call his agent, get him in here, pay him, pay him as well, we'll pay him. Yeah, so, got a phone call from my agent, um, got the job, got the job. So I, I got, got, got an Uber to, to the shoot uh, as, soon as, I, as, soon as, as soon as I found out the date and time. At first, when I found out I was doing an advert for like a face cream company, I was like, well, that's not like the coolest thing that I wanted to sort of be involved with. I, I thought, you know, if I was going to do an advert, I, it needs to be cool. So maybe something like um, roller skates, uh, disco balls. Um, I don't know if they still do them pens where you click them and there's like loads of different colors. I think I'd be a good advertisement for that. Red, blue, green, for all your color needs. Something like that, anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've not got the, the brain to direct these things. Um, where, what was I talking about? Oh, cool stuff. Yeah, 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 I can be pretty cool. So naturally, I turned up on the day of the shoot with my ego absolutely bursting through my head. And, I, you know, I often say that I get on with directors, but the truth is, is that I, I struggle with them. By the end of every shoot, the director's always pissed off with me for some reason. And it's, it's a habit that I'm going to try and break. Now, I decided just to not get to not be friendly with this guy. Not like, not, not be really rude to him, but I just went straight up to him and I just went, Hey man, I'm the rhino. I'm going to be in your ad today, as you well know, I'm sure. Let's just cut all the chit chat. Let's just not bother with it. You just tell me where I need to be, where I need to stand, when I need to say my line, when I need to apply the cream. You just tell me that and I'll just do it. Simple as, bish bash bosh. He said, Rhino, I love that work ethic. It's one of the reasons we hired you, not just your beautiful face. He didn't say that, I'm, I'm making things up now, but that's because I'm just trying to remember the story. Um, yeah, so we, we, we didn't really speak much uh, of, other than when I was sort of told to. Um, but, you know, I spoke to other members of the crew, the sound guy, I was always talking to him. I, I was oft, I'd often talk to his boom mic rather than to him, because I thought, well, this guy's, he's got, he's got these headphones on all day. So if I talk to him through the mic, at least then I know he's definitely listening. So I'd whisper things in, you know, being like, hey, um, who are you gonna captain on your fantasy team this week? And he would just be like, Rhino Sharp. 
<laughs> just just the antics we got got up to. Um, I trouble captained Harland in the end. Big mistake. Big mistake. On the shoot, there was someone representing the face cream company. Now she was getting a bit annoyed with me because basically there was this scene where I had to sort of hold up the cream, uh, the bottle of it, to the camera like that. Um, but my finger kept covering sort of the name of the logo uh, and the, the brand's name. So she was getting a bit annoyed being like, Rhino, you need, you need to keep your fingers down. And I was like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, you know, I've got the director telling me to act natural. And then I've got you telling me to not cover up any of the logos. How, how, how could I, does, does anyone naturally not cover logos? You know, look, I've just picked up my water bottle. Covered up Highland Spring, half of it. Half of it's gone. This is natural. I don't walk around like, mmm, Highland Spring. I don't do that, do I? So yeah, I, th that's a point I then made, and the director started to get started to get a bit pissed off about it. So I, I, I didn't want to step, I didn't want to you know annoy him too much. So I was like, yeah, you know what? This is your shoot, guys. I'll just do what you say, and I did it. And they said that they said I did a really good job. You know, I did get there on like the 50th take, but I still did it and people were going to love it. On the set as well, my, uh, there was this co-worker, this co-star that I was acting alongside. Her name was Jasmine and honestly, when I saw her, I just thought this woman is beautiful. Um, I, will, I will talk to her. I mean, I have to. It's, I've got lines with her. So, um, yeah, do you know what? We got on like an absolute house on fire. Until I started talking to her, that's when I realized that maybe she's not the one for me. Um, basically, she doesn't believe in method acting. She thinks it's a waste of time, completely pointless. And I was like, Jasmine Love, have you ever been in a film? Because whenever I'm in a film, be it a short film, I will always method act. It's that, you know, I've read An Actor's Prepares. I've read that book for a reason. She, ha, hasn't she read An Actor's Prepares? If she has, then she would know that method acting is the only way to act in film and stage. Um, an advert, I guess it is a bit different because you're sort of, it, it's not really about the character, it's more about um, sort of vanity and, 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 and showing that how much you, you love whatever product it is that you're advertising. It's about the product, it's not about me, it's about the product. Um, yeah, and that's, that's what I said to her, and she was like, yes, I know that, that's, that's nothing to do with what we were talking about. And I was just like, right, well, now I am confused, Jasmine. Now I am confused. Um, and then she said that she doesn't even method act in films or anything like that. I was like, right, okay. Bit weird, but all right, whatever. Yeah, we, uh, we, we didn't get on to begin with, but I then started talking to her about Among Us. Now I've been playing a lot of that game recently. There's, there's something about lying to everyone and sort of playing this game of manipulation that I am just all for. And I'm really good at it as well. I don't know why, it's just something that comes really natural to me. And I was telling her about how I won this game last night and she was just really impressed. She was like, wait, you were the imposter and you didn't get caught. Because how often do imposters get caught? All the time. And I was like, yep, didn't catch me once. And she was really impressed by that. And I sort of was telling her about how it, Among Us is like the modern day Cluedo. Like, I hate Cluedo. I, I don't really get it at all, but among Us is sort of like a, it's sort of like a similar thing. You, there's, there's a murderer, but, but I know I'm the murderer and I know someone else is the murderer. Do you know what, now that I talk about it, I don't think I've played enough Cluedo. Sounds like I'd enjoy it. But yeah, anyway, she was really impressed by my impostering and I was impressed by just the way she was laughing at my jokes. So I thought, do you know what, screw it. Valentine's Day is like coming up. Yeah, I know it's been and gone now, but Valence, at the time, Valentine's Day was coming up. So I was like, right, should we go out for a drink? And she said, yes. So boom, got a date sorted there. Uh, I was quite happy about the whole, the whole, the whole day. Um, but about three o'clock hit, and I've been putting this face cream on all day. And 
I started having an allergic reaction. Now, for anyone that doesn't know what an allergic reaction is, it basically makes your face go really red and puffy. And I, I just couldn't stop crying as well. The eyes were the big thing for me. I was just, the floodgates had opened. It's like I was watching the end of Titanic just over and over again, which I have done. Uh, did it this Valentine's Day. But yeah, it's the floodgates had opened and there was nothing I could do to stop them. Everyone on set was a bit worried. The, 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 the director paid me a lot of attention for the first bloody time that day. And he was like, Rhino, we need to get you off the set. We need to get you to a hospital. And I was like, no, 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 no. We have already four hours into the shoot. I am going to stay and, and finish the advert. Um, and he was like, Rhino, this is serious. And I was like, fine, whatever, fine, fine. We'll do whatever you say, Mr. Director. I suppose you, I'm still getting paid anyway. Um, but he was like, well, I don't know if we are going to pay you because we're not going to use the advert. Obviously, you'll get paid for your travel. Um, uh, but well, what, what, what good what good's that? I want to get paid for the actual job. They didn't pay for my buddy Uber to the hospital, did they? Um, anyway, I ended up having to leave the set in tears and everything. And I, I, I was leaving the building in all this pain. And I realized that shit, I haven't got this girl's number. I don't, I don't know where she's from. I, 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 I have no way of contacting her. So I was like, guys, we need to go back. I need to go back. I need to go back. Um, so I ran up the stairs and I was just like, lady, my lovely lady, when can we go on a date? Um, anytime next week, uh, please just tell me now quick because I, I need to get to hospital. And she was just like, yes, well, I can do any day but the 14th because she was going out for dinner with her boyfriend. You know, it was a lot of information to take in at that time. I might die from this allergic reaction. I can't stop crying. The love of my life has a boyfriend. I was a bit peeved with all of it. All of it. It, all, it all, like I say, it all just comes crashing down at once. Um, but it's fine. I handled it really well. Um, I said, "Don't, don't, don't speak to me again." And I, and we haven't. And we haven't, to be fair. Um, mostly because we we didn't exchange contact information. And and it turned out that it was like a mild reaction to my. It was, it was my eyes that was was allergic to the cream, more than anything. Um, but yeah, that advert will never see the light of day. But overall, really, really good day. Really good day. I did end up doing something on Valentine's Day. I, um, I decided to message uh, sort of 15 women on Facebook to see if any of them wanted to go out from a date. And, um, and, and only one replied, which, you know, it's probably one more than you lot bloody thought was going to happen, didn't you? You, you think so little of me, don't you? You think so little of me, yet here I am laughing at you. <laughs> here I am laughing at you because I did go on a date anyway. I mean, it wasn't a date. It was more of like a therapy session. Um, I saw in the comments that you guys were saying a lot that I should maybe see a therapist. So I took one out on the 14th. Um, yeah, really nice night. We learned, learned a lot about each other. Um, I paid. I paid. Um, yeah, but I'm going to see the therapist. Uh, I'm going to see my date um, again next week, I think. I, I, think, I think we're going to make it a weekly thing. I think we're going to make it a weekly thing. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed the adventures of a rhino. We'll see you again really soon. Really soon, we'll see you again. Uh, I won't do any, any I, I won't do any more um, impressions and accents videos, by the way. Unless, of course, I'm doing an impression or an accent in the video, and then, it, then, it, then you'll just have to deal with it. So there's not any Scouse characters that I bump into. Otherwise, otherwise we'll get another whole load of Stevie G. <laughs> but we'll forget about that viral video. Um, right, yeah, see you later, boys and girls. Riddle!